Um, yeah, if you haven't seen yet, Francis and Ganyu gets knocked into the Shadow Realm brutally by Anthony Joshua. Well, I believe the second round. It was scary. Uh, he knocked him down in the first round. Knocked him stupid, too. Like, knocked him stupid and down. And then I think that they kind of danced around and were measuring each other in round one. And then in round two, pretty quick right off the bat, Anthony knocked him down again. And then Nganyu gets back up. And you can see in his face he's not all there. And the ref checks his gloves, checks to see if he's holding his own weight. He was. So the ref steps back. Anthony steps back in. Right in the temple. Bah! Knocks Francis and Ganyu cold out. Cold out. The coldest knockout I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, it was brutal. And Ganyu laid there for a good two minutes. What was scary was medical surrounded him. And then more medical surrounded them and th they kind of got scared for a moment. You know, they're not going to show you that or focus on it in the promotion because that would disturb too many people. Francis and Ganyu ain't going to be the same. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Remember when Chandler kicked Tony Ferguson in the chin, knocked him out nasty cold for a couple minutes. It was the same kind of knockout. Francis and Ganyu was out before he hit the canvas it's bad really 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 bad kind of like you knocked out stipe but this is going to teach francis um redemption because that's what your life turns into when you um, run into something like this so he's gonna have to rethink his goals and his plans because I, this definitely wasn't part of his goal or his plan it was an interesting card to begin with there's a lot of power and money behind these fights joshua looked he looked like he felt bad. Honestly, he looked like he felt bad. He did not like that. He ended up like praising and Ganyu and showing really good sportsmanship. And then when Joshua was addressing the crowd, he was like, where's all the Cameroonians at? And I feel like all the Cameroonians were still in the audience, like Ooh, just completely mortified at what they just saw. Francis woke up, stood up while Joshua got his hand raised, but he still wasn't all there. He was stumbling out of the out of the ring. His faculties definitely weren't there. He didn't know where he was or what was going on. Pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly. This sport is crazy and anything can happen. I was one of the nastiest knockouts I've ever seen. I, I just, I really don't know what to say. But Francis is not going to be the same. I have a feeling he's going to come back to MMA. Well, we know he's going to come back to MMA, but I think he's going to take a break from boxing because he was nowhere close on the level of Joshua. It was like me in the ring with Mike Tyson. Just nowhere close. And Joshua had his way with Nganyu. Nganyu was like a toy in there. And it was kind of strange too. I would love to know Joshua's mentality on this, what he's thinking about it because like he knows things we don't know he said in his uh post fight interview that he thought that this was just like a spectacle like a you know like conor mcgregor and um, floyd mayweather but then he saw him fight tyson fury and saw him knock tyson fury on his back and he was like oh this guy can fight so he was like i'll take that i'll take that challenge but in his head he's like this guy is nowhere on my level and so, you know, he was just kind of going with the flow. But I think reality may have kicked in. And he's like, man, I am levels above this guy. And he knows it. Like, Anthony Joshua knows it. And Francis doesn't know it. Francis thinks he's on my level. And he just pieces him up. And then he has to make an example. He's the guy. He's the guy that has to make an example to show that there's levels to this and you're just not going to come in off of MMA and claim the crown of boxing. I think that was the message. 
and it was read loud and clear. We got the message, Anthony Joshua. And I think that, I mean, I'm interested in, I'm more interested in boxing now. Now that we see that, like, how deep the levels go. Wow. That guy was, I can't say it enough. It wasn't even close. It was like my fiance going in the ring with Mike Tyson. That's what it was like. And then gone use my fi my fiance. Um, that felt weird to say. I'm gonna end the video here before it gets too weird. Chris out. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA flex and chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring the